moving on as per we need to talk about obviously the thing that's been on everyone's lips um the confrontation between will smith and chris rock at the oscars and for the most part i would have to start off by saying it's incredibly 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 cuck and incredibly gay to be standing there or to be on social media um you know going out of your way to back any of these guys right multi-millionaire uber celebrities who for the most part have committed their lives to playing make-believe and pretend in order to kind of put food on the table for their family right you're kind of like an adult baby for the most part this is what your life has basically been whittled down to so the fact that they don't need you know the sympathy or the kind of uh concern from the regular person who's just trying to keep the lights on and pay their bills they don't need it it's just another part of their silly silly story especially nowadays there is no such thing as bad press you could just use anything to kind of propel your career further and further forward first thing second thing i'd say about the whole thing is that it's incredibly incredibly lame of will smith to do it in the first place to hit or to slap chris rock because of the joke that he said that he felt like you know was maybe crossing the line and maybe hurt jada jada pinkett smith's feelings incredibly inappropriate and if i'm and in all honesty it may be exposed who will smith is more as a person than anything else and maybe it was a little bit of a revelation or a kind of indication for us lame people and us normies out there that all the things that we've been saying online about them as a couple, the memes that have been shared, the jokes that have been made, have definitely been getting to them. And it maybe is also a revelation that this whole kind of rumor or this idea, this story, whoever put it out there first, that they had some sort of open relationship and whatnot, blah, 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 that there's definitely some division or there's some kind of um, difference of opinion in terms of who wants that sort of arrangement. Because for the most part, we've definitely seen a more emotional, emotionally unhinged and somewhat nervy Will Smith ever since that Red Table talk where Jada Pinkett Smith kind of revealed that she had that entanglement with August Alcino. We've definitely seen a different version of Will, which would led me to believe that he was probably the person who was less down or willing to do the whole open relationship. Let's just call it a, you know modern marriage sort of vibe sort of thing it probably was never something that he was really down for which is weird because i remember hearing when that story was put out the other theory was that oh the reason why will isn't tripping is because he was also smashing margot robbie on the side allegedly which you know maybe he was doing but maybe it was just a smash and it wasn't a full-on relationship with a flipping 26 year old rb singer who knows whatever it may be clearly it looked like from the outside looking in Will Smith was less inclined to live that kind of lifestyle. Jada Pinkett maybe wanted that more so. Cool, no problem. But then we were force fed um, or we were kind of forced to pay attention or to listen to Jada Pinkett Smith kind of reveal every intimate detail about their relationship, her feelings about Tupac. All this really, I would say, somewhat embarrassing and somewhat um, kind of, uh, you know, real life cuckification of will smith happening in real time and for people like myself who grew up on the fresh rooms of bel-air who grew up on will smith just being a really inspiring figure who grew up listening to his interviews kind of you know trying to figure out how he became so cool and so successful the things that he's done and what lessons can be learned and applied to stuff that i do or we do in general it really is sad to see somebody that you would kind of portray as some of a hero be kind of subjected to this right kind of turn into a, a shell of his former self where he's essentially turned himself into like some sort of um glorified version of a youtuber online because i think that might be as well another inception point of kind of wasmith's career when he had to sort of pivot into being a social media influencer for the for, the, for lack of a better term when he appeared in the youtube uncensored remember that kind of clip with him looking at the binoculars that was maybe a signal that his star power was definitely dwindling because he's also always been known as the box office guy right the guy would you know put out one or two killer box office movies every couple of years or so and absolutely smash it regardless of what the movie was and over the years it didn't really work out that way things kind of changed society changed TikTok talk happened social media happened right suddenly no one cares about these hollywood stars anymore which would also you would imagine kind of lead you to understand why 
you know, they created stuff like Red Table Talk, right? Because for the most part, no one is listening or caring for Jada Pinkett Smith's acting career as much as they are caring about what she has to say about family and relationships and whatnot. And, you know, navigating Hollywood as a black woman, blah, 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 blah. All that talkity talkity stuff has definitely made her, I would say, more prominent and more of a kind of household name than any of the acting things that she's done in the past, I would say personally, but maybe people will disagree. But regardless, Lamo, lamo. I'm a free speech absolutist personally. I believe you should be able to say whatever the hell you want without the threat of violence. Obviously, you are not kind of um, you're not kind of responsible or in control of how somebody reacts. But I think the moment you lay your hand on some, you lay your hands on somebody when they've just used words is the moment you've lost. You should always respond to threats as they come threats of violence should be addressed with threats of violence threats with words should be addressed with threats of words you shouldn't be standing out of your seat in the middle of a flipping packed room live on air going to slap someone because of a joke they said especially when we know that the person that you should be slapping is walking to South Cena. at the time when we were making our jokes online I actually played a video in the background just so you can hear it but <laughs> I'll mute the sound because we wanted to hear it at the time that we were kind of talking about publicly about the whole walk South Cena, Jada Pinkett Smith thing you know it was it was kind of they kind of made it seem like he was being the mature one by never sort of replying or saying anything about it right but we all knew as guys as especially as men that the person that would really need to get a slap in the if we're being serious behind closed doors would obviously be jada pinkett smith for allowing that guy to come into their home to kind of nurture him and protect him and kind of look after him and help him out and all that nonsense and then it turned into some sort of relationship that should be the first person that should be getting a slap behind closed doors and the second person should be august i've seen himself not everyone around him that was making jokes or whatever it may be that was that was ridiculous but if anything it goes to show how i would even say it's contempt it feels like for the most part these celebrities have like a weird they have weird requirements that they placed on public right they sort of like force us to pay attention to their private lives that we don't care about for the most part. Most of us don't care. We're just forced to care about it because they talk about it so open, so openly. And, you know, there's nothing else to entertain us, you know, especially in media or in culture or in arts at the moment. TV series are dog shit. Oscar movies are terrible, right? There's nothing really out there to kind of distract us apart from maybe sports and reality TV. And again, those, you know, depending on what you're watching, aren't that great anyway. So they force us to pay attention to their personal lives. But at the moment we have an opinion that doesn't line up with what they want to hear, they then tell us it's out of context. They then tell us to mind our business. They didn't like all this dumb shit happens. And you're like, what the hell is going on? Am I living in a bloody matrix? Am I living in a matrix where I have to sit there and somehow um, justify in my own head why I think somehow that I agree with these aliens because that's what they are they're like adult babies they don't really exist in the real world why maybe having a relationship that's open but not open and then sharing your story with millions of people isn't maybe the best way to go about things you know what i mean it's just a very strange place to be in and i think for the most part the lamest thing to come out of this whole situation has been the lack of support for chris rock the lack of support for Chris Rock, especially when it comes to comedians coming out and saying, hey, this is completely uncalled for because yes, it's Will Smith, but this could be anybody. This could be some random person, you know, at some bar somewhere that doesn't like what you say and then they get up on stage and they, what, they, they fucking double leg you and start pounding you into the ground because they don't like the joke that you made about Trump. <laughs> this is where it goes. And I think it's completely unnecessary and completely uncalled for. If you don't like what you hear, you walk out and you leave the room. But at the end of the day, it's a bloody joke and a very tame one at the end of the day what you'd want to see from comedians is they all rally around and a few of them just get out there and release an entire special put it up on youtube with just non-stop 30 minutes full of insults and jokes towards the, the, the smith family and just saying hey you don't control how people you know um you don't control how people maybe respond to your crazy lifestyle to your unconventional way of parenting whatever it may be because most people don't live the way you live which is the reason why you get to get the big bucks because we get to watch you like zoo animals but you then don't get the right to come out here and tell us what we can say how we can say it, or in will's case physically assault us because you don't like what we said that is completely not on if you don't like the limelight you don't want people to have an opinion then retreat pull away from public life completely renounce your you know your movies your roles or whatever it may be and just live in complete privacy then of course you can command that or you can request that but for now 
like shut the fuck up really shut the fuck up and it gets worse because that was bad enough as it was the worst part about it was the apology if you're gonna be the guy that's gonna be like hey i've had enough of all the jokes i don't want anyone to have any more jokes at my expense with my family you know we've been through enough already blah 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 whatever it may be stand on it stand on it. if you're gonna be the bully boy stand on it. if you're gonna be if you're gonna be the, the baby of acting stand on it but don't then come out now and say you're sorry or that you apologize because we know you're not sorry because at the time especially when it has sub happened number one i was surprised the show went on the show continued for some odd reason they didn't stop the show for some odd reason he wasn't escorted out of the building for some odd reason he still was able to receive his award on stage right like straight after i think that actual slap happened for some odd reason there was a video of him after the event um no or when it happened crying in the arms of tyler perry and denzel washington did they go up and give chris rock any condolences another black man that got sold on stage or are we picking and choosing which black man gets support now like what nonsense is this then there's another video of will smith and after party dancing and rapping along to his crappy songs you know trying to make himself feel good like what the hell is going on here now you've got an apology what's this apology for who is this for is it so you can keep your oscar nonsense absolute bullshit so anyway the apology on screen it says follows you post on instagram it says this violence in all its forms is poisonous and destructive my behavior <laughs> oh god my behavior last with academy awards was unacceptable and inexcusable jokes are at my expense are part of the job but a joke about jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and i reacted emotionally I would like to publicly apologize to Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I'm embarrassed at my actions and were not indicative of a man I want to be. There's no place for violence in a world of loving kindness. Yeah, there is, but not in that way. Um, I would also like to apologize to the Academy, the most important people. Have to, and again, is that paragraph longer? Yeah, see, the, the uh, paragraph apology to the Academy and everyone involved in Hollywood is longer than the one involved to Chris Rock. Um... I would like to apologize to the Williams family, the King Richard family, and deeply regret. Who's the King Richard family? Okay, the, I'll get the movie. I deeply regret my behavior. I stained that what uh, what was ha what has been and I've watched gorgeous journey for all of, for all, for all of us. I'm a work in progress and sincerely will. It sounds very Lex Friedman, isn't it? This, isn't it? Love and light, love and kindness. Like after Lex Friedman finds me on the streets and strangles me to death, he's gonna say love and light. <laughs> <laughs> I kill you with love. I kill you with light. Like what nonsense? What hobbity group? If you're gonna be the violence guy, stand on your violence. I don't vibe with any of this stuff. You know, Jada Smith needs to grow up as well. Jada Pinkett Smith, grow the fuck up. Like legitimately, grow the fuck up. If you have a problem with this alopecia stuff, again, I, it's just for me, it's, it's attention seeking at its finest. If this is an issue, wear a wig. If you don't know want to take the piss out of you let them know beforehand hey don't say this because i'm sure some of the biggest celebrities out there if you need if you especially considering the weight that they have as a family they can definitely put in a word and say hey you know i don't want you to mention my hair now if you're a comedian worth your weight and you know in gold and you're actually about this life you're going to listen to them you're going to say yeah 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 and you're still going to say the joke but grow up if it's that annoying and it's that pissing you off like wear, wear a bloody wig and also maybe stop embarrassing your husband in public so he doesn't have to emotionally react this way if this is what you if you know he's what he's like behind closed doors and that he has a bit of a temper especially when it comes to you you know he doesn't really tolerate disrespect he doesn't tolerate anybody moving to her in public when he's in a you know in, in the vicinity all these kind of things don't put him in harm's way there's nothing worse than those type of women right that know they've got a guy who's jealous and possessive and they consistently put him in scenarios where he has to display the genus and some you know uh, possessive kind of traits that will maybe kind of toxic in those kind of environments don't do it or if it gets that bad guess what break up that's what I think they should be doing. Grown-ups, maybe just get divorced because clearly they're not aligned in the way that they're kind of going about things. And it's not a bad thing. They could still be some of the greatest co-parenting couples, especially celebrities known to man. They could write books on it, how to navigate this world, whatever it may be. But just maybe get divorced, in it? And don't subject us to all this nonsense because we generally don't care. No one was caring about the Oscars beforehand. They tried to make us... You know force us to care about it when they hired flipping amy schumer who everyone hates then she got the genius idea of maybe getting Zelensky to do an address you know um live over skype or zoom at the oscars to you know get the attention of the global audience imagine that imagine Zelensky trying to um 
grab the attention of everybody in the world concerning what's going over there in, in Ukraine with the invasion from Russia and then having it spliced in between Will Smith walking up and slapping Chris Rock in the face because of a joke he didn't like. Imagine, imagine, imagine the optics on that one. So that it didn't work, all those things to get us attention. And now look at out of the blue, this convenient event happens that grabs us all by the you know by the seat of our pants and we're now all gripped by it and sending all the memes around i think it's a nonsense either get divorced keep your private life private or just give up your celebrity and leave us alone either way i don't care i really really don't care